Hey and welcome to Tech Tips with Solar Media. I'm Linus. I'm Jacob. And today we're having an exciting episode uh, with a new June light, 5Ray M20C. Yeah, so C stands for color. C stands for color. Which is nice. So, what do we got? We got a brand new, look how tiny this is. It's tiny, not tiny. <laughs> okay, so this, this is a, my hand. And this is an aperture. But what you get out of it is much bigger. It's a bit bigger big. than an aperture MC. Yes. Yeah. So what we have here is a 20 watt light. It's RGB. So it has uh, full hue. It has full, uh, well, RGB. It is by color as well. It goes yeah. up to, what is it, 10,000 Kelvin? 10,000 10, Kelvin from 2,500 Kelvin. Yeah. So it has full daylight to studio, uh, so you can control it. But uh, the main fun thing, if, if before we even started, is the case, really. Yeah, the case is all magnetic. Yeah, so if you take for the. So if you uh, just do the uh, light itself, it's this big. It's so tiny. It is tiny. It has <laughs> a, a cooling thing in here and batteries, so it's uh, quieter than its big brother that we're going to show in a bit. Yeah, very effective. Uh, but if you slap this back into here, clicks in like nothing at all. Has cold shoe, cold shoe, cold shoe, uh, and the cold other shoe. side of the cold shoe. <laughs> so this is for the camera. And then you can pretty much serial connect a whole yeah. bunch of them and have a light wall if you want to. Tec yeah, exactly. Technically. Infinite amounts. Yeah. So this one has roughly 40 minutes of battery time when you have it at full blast. Yeah, if you're going 20, 20 watts, you got 40 minutes. If you go 10 watts, you got one hour, 20 minutes. If you go five watts, you got three hours. If you turn it off, it lasts forever. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's the opposite of true. Uh, one of the selling points of this is it actually has barn doors. Uh, with numbers, so you open them in the right order and close them in the right order. And this is uh, yeah. something that's very important when you want to control the light. So if you want to... Yeah, we don't, see, we don't see barn doors in a lot of these uh, tiny lights. Not in the tiny lights. The no. F100 had a big uh, uh, barn door, but it was only two flaps. Point taken. Point it's taken. It's bigger. It's a TNT. <laughs> <laughs> it is bigger. <laughs> but if you want to restrict the light or you don't want to splash mm. on something, it's very handy to be able to control it. It's... It's very stuff. nice, but this has also two other controlling factors. Mag magnets. Oh yeah, magnets, by the way. By the way. By the way. One of the cool things with it. Cool things, magnets. Yeah, it has a honeycomb. Honeycomb, which makes, what does this do? Basically slims down, the, it doesn't spread as much, so it makes it more linear. Yeah, so straight at the thing you're shooting at. Yes. Uh, compared to what this does. Diffuser. Diffuser, <laughs> it spreads it out more. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it already has one. It already it has one. A tiny though. A tiny one, a thin one. Yeah. So you can double it up. I guess you can put it there too if you want to. Doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> so now you have the, a double diffusion, which cuts down on the power of the light, but it makes it very soft mm. and uh, so subtle. And soft. It's very nice. But you don't have to use this one. You can just go straight to the honeycomb. Or if you don't want to use the honeycomb at all or the one, you can just go straight to the barn doors. Like so. Yeah. So you can choose. So you can get more power, but you might have some artifacts in the light, like little dots. Uh, if you have a very effective surface, uh, you could get some extra shadows if you're close enough. Mm. But uh, yeah. that's what these are for. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, otherwise you have so many options with this thing. It's very cool. Yes, it's very cool. All right. So if you just start it up, I guess we should do that. Tap and hold. Tap and hold. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, uh, so the right, the on and mode uh, goes up and down in the menu, and then you use the other one to uh, increase, decrease. So this one is the RGB, so we turn, uh, you have a 0 to 100% on red, green, and blue, so you can control it, set it on numbers. Uh, so if you have a certain purple you like, like we do, it's easy to dial it in. Yeah. And know, then you just press. Just write down the numbers. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the menu mode. Uh, the mode mode and then you have your effects the FX and it's the same as uh, the other ones you have the the pulsing you have the light bulb you have the um, the candle mm -hmm. fire fire police car which T is tele TV TV yes also never use the police I, one when you're out driving no, no don't use the police one but I was gonna say I have used the TV one actually for a recording oh you did yeah I had a TV in the foreground and the person in the couch Oh, nice. So then I just had that shot in their face. Perfect. Basically everything else was black. So The fire, the fire one is the one I've used the most, because then I've had a tiny fireplace in the background that you just mm. 
hid this behind the log? I've uh, tried to, and I think the light that I had with me then was more yellow than I wanted it to be. Mm. So I just went straight orange. Well, there is anyways use for the effects. <laughs> They're not just gimmicky, so you can actually get them use. Yes. <laughs> That's what we're trying to say. Yes. Uh, you can set it to English or Chinese. Let's keep English for now. Let's keep English, yes. If you want to know what we're doing. Uh, let's see here. Here is the... I can actually put this on here so it doesn't blind everybody with the light. Uh, what you have here in the bottom, here you have the dimmableness. It's a usual 0 to 100%. Uh, you have your color, your Kelvin. So if you go up all the way, it is confirmed 10,000. But in the bottom here, that's where the interesting thing is. It's green magenta. It's mm. green, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so if you have other, um, other lights from other brands, sometimes they have a little bit more magenta in them. So uh, if you want to dial this one in to be the same magenta E as those ones, you just uh, roll this knob here. So mm. you can go more green, more magenta. Yeah. Uh, which is very handy, actually, for a tiny like this, like this. That's very, very handy. I don't think I've seen that in a tiny light before. No, I've barely seen it in other lights either. No, then they're very expensive. Yeah, and this is uh, <laughs> 150 euros? Yeah, uh, exactly. Compared to the F100, that's 300. Yeah. The 300 has more juice in it, of course, because it's bigger. This one has uh, 2,900 and something lux for half a meter, which is that yeah. far. So uh, mostly they, the other ones count from a meter. So this one is uh, 1,200 for a meter. Yeah. Uh, lasts for a half hour. This one lasts for 40 minutes. Mm. This one has 100 watts, so I mean it's bigger, costs more, and it doesn't fit in your bag as easy. <laughs> just, just saying. And you can't connect more to that one. Uh, no, it only has one connector. Uh, this is the what do you call it? Well, the this tree frog. Darth Maul with it. <laughs> Darth Maul has two. Yeah. <laughs> two. <laughs> one Sorry. time use only. Smash, smash, smash. <laughs> Uh, these both cost around 150, 120. This is the generation one. Yeah. Uh, this one has like a hundred lux at a one meter. That one's pretty old now. It's pretty old now. I this think is that's like one from of the these... first lights we got. Yeah, it's like from the start of Tech Tips. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is Tree Frog. It's a little bit later, bigger, uh, but it also only had like 200 lux for a meter. Yeah. So compared to that, <coughs> we have but 2,000 and half yeah, meter. Yeah, exactly. But they're not for um, lighting up. One's face. No, these are not actually fill lights. But these are just like that could decoration lights. Do that. This one is uh, uh, advertised as a fill light, mm. which is your secondary light if you. If, yeah, you know. We well, currently only have two. Uh, keys. Two lights for the moment. Two keys. Anyways, uh, so there you have it. This is a very fancy little light. We're very I'm impressed. I mean, you for get 15, a, oh, 150. Yeah, for 150 euros, fits in your hand, and I, I mean, I really love the barn doors. The barn doors is very nice. We have to shoot something and actually show you guys what the difference is when you shoot at something with uh, the different... <laughs> the reason why you want barn doors. The Re reason why you want barn doors. <laughs> That's a good idea. The reason why we would use the, the honeycombs and the reason why we'd use the salt box. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Yeah, so we're just going to hop over to... Right now. Okay. And specs! Ivory M20C has a power output of 20 watts, it weighs 200 grams, the battery capacity is 4500 milliamp hours, the battery time is 40 minutes, the charging time is 2 hours. Alright, so that's what you can do with the fill light combo which, when you have the barn doors and all of the attachments and you can see why you would use them hmm. compared to not having them. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something or uh, maybe you even want to pick one of these lights up. It's a good choice, I think. Mm -hmm. and don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions on new videos, just put them in the comment section and uh, we'll get to them as quickly as we can. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.